Philadelphia, it's got to be happy. They had a lot of highlights, and they had a lot of guys uh, moving around. This is just the offensive line just did a wonderful job. There's Missouri again. We showed that a bunch of times. Downhill, Von Hebron. Last year, we would have seen him come out of the game a couple times. This year, no. Again, coming across the field, looking back across for his outlet or his uh, secondary receiver there. Picks up a, a needed first down. And then Von Hebron breaking three tackles on this and then taking B.W. Webb into the end zone for Lafayette and the 7-0 score right there. Then we had the rain delay. We came back. And then William and Mary, a little bit more energy coming out of the locker room. Coach Laycock talked about it. The fumble right there by Stinnett. He picks it up. They go uh, three plays down the field here. Trey McBride, he was impressive tonight with two touchdown catches. That's the first. Ties the game 7-7. But Lafayette comes right back with some terrific play calling. A little movement up front. They sped things up. Mike Duncan right there with a touchdown. Ended up with a terrific game. That was a great play right there. Shoot with the fake inside. Picks up another first down. Did it with his arm. Did it with his legs. Ethan Swerdlow redeems himself after missing a field goal early. Puts Lafayette up 17 to seven and then just coming back late here Trey McBride on coach Luce won't be happy with that but a touchdown at the end the onside kick again what a great job up front and your hands guys behind Sherman seals the victory all right let's go down and talk to Frank Devani here's John talk to Frank Devani is right uh, jacked up coach hey listen you know a scholarship program that took Maryland right down to the way or probably should have beaten them you guys came in here and as efficient uh, of performances I've ever seen from a Lafayette team. Well, I'll tell you, I'm really proud of our young men and our coaching staff. Did a heck of a job in preparation for this game. You know, if I had a dollar for everybody to ask me since last year, why would we want to open up with William and Mary? And then after that game with Maryland, I got about a thousand more of those questions. Well, I want to tell you why. Because we wanted to come down here and win. Our kids were determined. They prepared the way you want them to prepare. I couldn't be prior of these young men. Frank, I've been around long enough to remember Richmond. That was a happy trip. And the last time we chartered a flight, it was from Lynchburg, Virginia. That was a pretty happy flight, too. You pulled it off again against a very good William & Mary football well, team. The first thing I'm going to do is ask friends of football and Jack Berger to keep buying <laughs> airplanes. Because every time he does, we come up with a big win. So we're really happy. And we do appreciate that was big flying down 65 minutes rather than seven and a half hours. Last thing, Coach, the leadership of Andrew Shoup at the quarterback position. There were a lot of unknowns. He he was the one known, pretty efficient, controlled things well. Well, that's the difference when you have a quarterback that has 11 games under his belt. And we haven't had that in two seasons. You got a good, confident group. You got a heck of a defense, and an O-line is still coming together, and a bunch of young men that want to get it done. Coach, so much more we could talk about. We will see you Tuesday at the luncheon, and we'll go over more of this terrific win. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Gary Michael, a great night from uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. Back to you guys. All right, that was the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Our players of the game, that entire football team. Lafayette wins at 17-14. Our opening broadcast of the Lafayette Sports Network. We're glad you're with us. Mike Joseph, John Leone, RCN television team. Thanks for watching. I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.